Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Monday, August 28th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Storm headed to Florida. Three Americans killed in Australia. A blue moon is a real thing. Nordstrom closes and Bob Barker passed away. It's all coming up. Then Bill will be here with your message of the day. But first, Governor Ron DeSantis left the campaign trail to go back to do governor things. A tropical storm watch for much of Florida. The storm might turn into a Category 2 hurricane coming up through the Gulf of Mexico. 1,100 National Guardsmen have been mobilized. They have access to 2,400 high-water vehicles and 12 aircraft for rescue and recovery efforts. The storm will hit as early as Tuesday, the brunt of the storm on Wednesday. At least three U.S. Marines were killed in an Osprey aircraft crash in Australia. There were 23 Americans on the aircraft when it crashed during a training exercise. Five others were transported to a local hospital in serious condition. This was during a training exercise with the militaries of the United States, Australia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and East Timor. It's believed only Americans were on board. A rare, not only blue moon, but a super blue moon will shine on August 30th. Now, in your mind, you're thinking it's going to be blue. It's not blue. It's just an expression. It means it's the second full moon that occurs in a single month. Wednesday, 9.36 p.m. Eastern. That is the maximum of the super blue moon moment. The Nordstrom downtown San Francisco is closed after 30 years in business. They can no longer take the homelessness, drug use, and crime. The Nordstrom made it through COVID, recessions, you name it. They couldn't make it another day of a far-left Democrat-controlled city. In San Francisco, downtown foot traffic down 65%. 95 stores have closed, 31% office vacancy, public transportation use down 65%. And property tax revenues are down $196 million compared to pre-COVID levels. The great Bob Barker has passed away at the age of 99. He hosted The Price is Right for 35 years. Barker was raised in South Dakota and Missouri and joined the Navy during World War II. He started hosting the show when he was 48 and retired in 2007 at the age of 83. He met his wife in high school, married in 1945. She passed away in 1981 from lung cancer. Bob said, I never had any inclination to remarry. She was my wife. I'm Mike Slater. The great Bill O'Reilly is here with your message of the day next. But remember, help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20%. And this year could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. It'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I have been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Monday, I am following, but not closely, this football story where uh, The Blind Side, you may remember that, it was a movie and it was a book, where there was an African-American football player adopted by a white family in the South, and the family um, raised uh, the boy into college, and he became a pro football player, and it was a heartwarming story and all that. And now it turns around and uh, Michael Orr, The football player says he was exploited by the family, and uh, the family says that's a lot of baloney, that we did everything we could to make this boy's life better, and all of that. I don't know. I'm not there. I can't pronounce judgment on it. But what I can talk about this morning, and it's a topic that disturbs me greatly, is betrayal. So somebody in this case betrayed somebody else 
either Michael Orr, the football player, betrayed the family, or the family exploited Michael Orr. Again, I don't have subpoena power. I don't know. But I do know that every one of us in the world is betrayed at one time or another. That is why Judas Iscariot has such a prominent place in the New Testament. That story was inserted in the Bible for a reason to warn everybody that you are likely to be betrayed, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Bill, why do you always say Bobby Kennedy Jr. has no chance of winning? Because he has no chance of winning. The odds are 11% that he will be the next president, the Vegas odds. And if you go to London, you can actually put money on it. It's illegal here in the United States. Uh, He just doesn't have a constituency. The Democrats don't like him. Most Republicans don't like him. The anti-vaxxers like him. But that's not enough. Uh, Christopher, Mark Twain said, if you don't read the news, you are uninformed. And if you do read it, you are misinformed. Mark Twain. Love him. Roberta Stanilan, Jayton, Texas. Bill, do you think White House aides bother to read letters from the folks? No. <laughs> if you write to your senator or congressperson or president, chances are a staffer might read it, but they're never going to read it in a million years. David Concierge, remember, whenever you discuss a rise of gas prices, you rarely mention those of us who read reside in California paying another buck. I always mention it. You get the highest tax, state tax on gas in the country, probably in the world. Well, maybe that's not true. In the country. That's why you're paying so much. Uh, Ethan, you bash. You can bash Hillary Clinton all you want, but she won the popular vote against Trump. The Electoral College must be abolished. If the Electoral College, Ethan, is abolished in America, our democracy is finished. Because the reason Hillary Clinton won the popular vote is California and New York. They are dramatically liberal states and always will be that because so many people live in those two states. A Republican can't win the popular vote. The Republican can win many more states, but not the popular vote. So the question, Ethan, is do you want L.A. and New York running this country? If you do, then you abolish the vote. John O'Reilly, you are the best because you are the best. (laughs) Okay, I'll I'll take it. Uh, Very nice of you to say so. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs, 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584. 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. On this day in the year 12 AD, the future emperor of Rome was born in central Italy. His brief reign will go down as one of the most destructive and diabolical regimes in human history. Here is the story of Caligula. Gaius Julius Caesar Germanicus was the third son of a renowned Roman general. His father's soldiers dubbed the boy Caligula, Latin for little boot, a reference to the bizarre uniform his parents forced him to wear. After the death of his family, the young child was adopted by Roman Emperor Tiberius. Caligula was 24 years old when he took over power in Rome. 
After a somewhat promising start, the young ruler was diagnosed with what doctors at the time called brain fever, which is really paranoia. Caligula immediately ordered his closest advisors killed, then forced members of his own family to commit suicide. He terrorized members of the Senate. Under penalty of death, lawmakers were forced to run naked alongside the emperor's chariot. He even raped a senator's wife as political retribution. Caligula had Roman citizens murdered at will and often watched his victims being tortured before their execution. When presiding over the sacrifice of a bull, Caligula pardoned the animal, then beat the cleric to death with a hammer. After all of these things, and much, much more, including the Roman Empire descending into bankruptcy, the Roman elite had seen enough. On January 24th, 41 AD, Caligula went to the theater. On his way home, military officers forced him into a dark alley where they stabbed him 30 times. And here's something else you might not know. While remembered for his depravity, Caligula was instrumental in expanding the empire. Under his reign, Rome conquered new territories, including Great Britain. Back after this. Enjoy cleaner, safer, and more private internet daily. Be more cyber zen. For a limited time only, get our special offer at nordvpn.com. With a few simple clicks, NordVPN will block online trackers and hide your virtual location. It will secure your devices from malware-infected downloads and block access to malicious websites. Enjoy Internet without trackers. Internet without malicious websites. Internet without malware-ridden files. Imagine your data more secure. Your connection protected. Be more cyber zen. Take advantage of our special offer now at nordvpn.com. NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.